Hi folks, this is Joe back with you from Canine Corner, brought to you by caninep4.com. Today we're going to talk about the bias difference between instrumentation when it comes to reading your dog's progesterone tests. And we'll go through this in detail. I think you'll find it very useful. So hang on, we'll be right back. Okay, so the question is, why do my results off the analyzer that I purchased not match with my vet? If there's any question we get, this is the one that we get the most questions on, on why I'm not matching with my vet. Let's go through that on the next slide. All right, folks, let's go through the bias between uh, IDEX and a mini Vetus. Now, when I say bias, I just mean running the same sample. Keep in mind, these tests are done with the same dog, dog sample, and the same sample, same draw, drawn sample, tested on both instruments. Um, across the bottom, like the charts you've seen in previous videos, are the days of the dog cycle. We're not that concerned about you know timing on this as much as we are just looking at the differences between the two instruments. Uh, on the left-hand side, it's measured in progesterone values are measured here in nanograms per milliliter. Uh, if these were nanograms per mole for international units, this 15 would be a 45, and this 8 would be more like a, a 25 or 26. So uh, United States standard is nanograms per milliliter, which we mentioned before. So again, run an exact same sample from the exact same dog at the exact same time, this is what you can expect. The difference, the, what we call a bias difference between the IDEX instrument on this lower line and the mini Vetus instrument across the top line. Now, the only reason for these differences basically is, this is basically, there's other, other reasons for it, there's other things that, that come into play when it comes to these numbers being different. But the basic explanation for it is they're calibrated differently. They're calibrated to a different standard. Uh, so the higher number on a Vetus is, is totally acceptable. And the lower number on an IDEX is totally acceptable. The only thing is you need to calibrate yourself to know that the two instruments read differently. And I call that, we call that, uh, an instrument bias. That just means one instrument will read this way and there's a bias on the other one will read a little bit higher. So now you would ask, does that mean my, my tests are going to be accurate if I ran it on a mini Vetus or ran it on an IDEX? Yes. Again, in the example that we use, if we took the exact same sample and run it on both instruments, if you got a five with that sample from your dog on the IDEX, you know, hey, we're an ovulation point. If you get a nine on a mini Vetus, same thing. With a nine, you're in ovulation point. Now, if you looked at this incorrectly and you said, okay, you didn't know this chart, you didn't know there was a bias, and you look at your mini Vetus and you got a five, the five is gonna be way down here on a mini Vetus, way, way before ovulation point is hit. And that's what we see happen sometimes. People are using the IDEX standard on, uh, say they're comparing the values that they're getting on the instrument that they purchase that they have at home that runs like an IDEX, and their vet is running a mini Vetus. So when they come up with a five on their home unit, the vet's saying, oh no, you're at a nine. You're, you're much higher than that. Uh, what you need to ask is what instrument are you running? And if it's not the exact same instrument, then there's gonna be a bias between the two. As long as you know the bias, it will work for you. Again, this chart would be perfectly fine. If I was running both instruments, I would expect if I got 15 here, I'm gonna get a much higher number, 28 here. Both of them indicate, uh, like this example here, both of them, the five and the nine, indicate that the ovulation has started or has occurred already. Both of those are valuable numbers. They're correct. They're validated. They do. They are right. Those numbers are correct. You just need to know that the two instruments do not read the same. I know uh, this concept it is a little bit difficult to, uh, you know, to grasp. 
like why don't every instrument, why doesn't every instrument read the same? And that's a reasonable question. The answer is, I can't tell you why. I don't know why they don't correlate all of these to the same value, to the same slope and intercept numbers, but they don't. In the human world, it's a different story. Most of those things are calibrated together, so they'll read relatively close, almost the same. But they don't do that in the VET world. So that's the difference you're going to see. You see a 5 and a 9, you're in perfectly good shape. Your VET's got a mini Vetus, and you're reading, they say you're reading a 9, you say you're reading a 5 or so, you're in good shape. I hope this helped you. I hope this helped you understand that there is a bias. And it's not just a mini Vetus. There's other instruments that will be biased, too, uh, in different ways. They might be higher. They might be lower. Uh, none, of, none of them are, are incorrect. You just need to know what the timing chart is. And with most of the equipment that, that we sell, we send a timing chart out with it so that you know that if you're running something, an instrument that's based on a mini Vetus, that the timing is going to be higher. So hope this helps. Uh, be looking for our next video coming up about precision on instrumentation and how that will affect how you read your numbers and then how you react to those numbers. Hope this helped. You have a great day. Bye-bye.